Today's recipe sounds delicious, Mark. What are we doing? Well, we've got a great recipe. So this is something I like to cook at home. This is the classic Sunday roast. So we're going to use the rangatiki chicken. So it's been butterflied. It's already been marinated for you as well. So it's going to take uh, no time at all to cook. We've got some roasted onions. We've got the special roasted duck fat potatoes, which are fantastic, and some harissa carrots to give a bit of spice into the mix. Nice work. Well, you're keeping it nice and easy, really, aren't you? You can see your chicken just about done for you, isn't well, it? Well, yeah. Keep it easy. It's a Sunday, you know. You don't That's want to put right. too much effort in. We'll concentrate on the other parts of it then, and the chicken will just work. It's magic. Looking forward to it, Mark. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and Holly will have a chance for you to win a very cool gift for the kids this Christmas in a few minutes. But now it is time for another amazing Rangatike Chicken Week dish. I've loved this week. It's been my favourite week <laughs> of the year so say. far. And today we are going to be using Rangatike's rosemary, garlic and lemon butterflied chicken. And you've shown us previously how to butterfly a chicken, and uh, yep. this is all done for you. It's seasoned. It's got the marinade in it. This is a nice, quick, easy way to do it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, you can do this at home if you want, but uh, why bother? If someone's already done it for you, it's marinated, it's ready to go, you know. You can put it on the tray, it's really fast to cook. Yeah. And then you can just spend time making duck fat potatoes. Nice work. And it's free range <laughs> too, you know, free range. It's uh, Look, it's going to be delicious. Can't wait. And we're going to make sure we get those sides just perfect to go with this perfect chicken. So do you want me right. to crack into yeah, this? I'm going to open the packet for okay, you. Okay, cool. I try not to... Uh, Cut your fingers off. <laughs> right, okay. We, we practiced that, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mike's going to take it out. So we're going to literally show you how easy this is. Right, okay, cool. Oh, so, yeah, look at that. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Uh, even You've Mike really challenged me today, Mark. <laughs> right, yeah. so we're just going to put a little bit of oil on it. And I'm just going to do a light bit of seasoning. I think that's just the uh, chef. Okay, you don't cool. have to season it because we, we've got all the seasoning on there. But I just like to put a little bit of the flaky sea salt on as we roast it. You've got these nice little crunches of salt. Uh, and I've got a red onion here. So we're just going to leave the skin on. That's going to protect it. And we're going to roast that with the chicken. Yes. So what you can do is you can just cut it in quarters, nice big chunks. Oh, wait, if, you're leaving that papery bit on? Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't it We're like... not going to eat that. Oh, okay, cool. But if, if you've got a really big onion, I like to cut it down again so you get like eighths. But you've still got these nice chunky bits of onion, right? And the reason why we leave our onion uh, skin on yeah. is because we're going to roast it with the chicken. Right, so it's, the tray's going to get hot. You're going to roast the, um, the bottoms of the onion. So if you take the skin off, you're going to lose some of that onion when you do it because it's going to it's going to really sort of go brown and it's right. going to dry out. So we leave the skin on. That's going to happen to the skin, which we're not going to eat anyway, maximising the onion. You're full of the tips oh, today, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so Jeez. you've got a little bit of oil over there. Yeah. Right, tiny bit of salt over there. Season your um, onions, though. A little bit of oil over the onions. OK, cool. And a bit of pepper. Get some more alpha one. Yep. All right, and then a little bit of fresh thyme. You know, you should have abundance of this in the garden now. And rosemary, you know. Put that over the onions. We've got all the herbs on the chicken already, so just a little bit of uh, time on the onions. That's going to go in a hot oven, about 180 degrees for about sort of 50 minutes, 55 minutes. Take it out, let it rest. Bob's your uncle. That's you ready go. to go. And because you've got a butterfly chicken and it's nice and flat, you're going to get a nice, beautiful, golden roasted skin all the way over. Brilliant. I quite like butterfly chicken too, done on the um, uh, barbecue. You can do it on the barbecue. Yeah, perfect for the barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. You can do it slow on the barbecue. Put the lid down, slow cook it, and smoke it. Right, we're just going to get the potatoes in. So just peel these potatoes. Okay. Um, so nice sort of chunks, not too small. And we've just got some uh, lightly simmering water, and that's just been lightly salted. So I'm going to get them in, and we're just going to parboil these because we want to roast them. Yeah. And parboiling is the secret to get a nice crispy um, potato. So just going to take about five, ten minutes. We just want to soften those edges, and I'm going to show you the next stage a little bit later, and we'll get those in. And then we've got some harissa carrots to do. Well, I think we've proven just how quick this is to do when you get it at home yourself. Nice work, Mark. Thank you. And we'll see the next steps to this dish in just a minute. Okay, butterfly chicken. This is beautiful free-range chicken. It's all pre prepared for you as well. So we're concentrating on the sides, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. right. So chicken's cooking. Yep. So here are the sides. So we started to pre-boil these potatoes. Right. So it's just been about sort of like about sort of just around about 10 minutes on a simmer. But what you're looking for, you still want to hold the potatoes still want to hold the shape. Yes. You want to drain them off carefully. So just get all the excess uh, water out of the way. Yep. And then what are you looking for? It's just cooked on the sides. So when you give it a shake and a little bit of a ruffle, you can see ah, see how they're getting a bit sort of ruffled? Yes. Yeah. Cool. That is what you want. You want that little ruffly edge. Nice. And then in here, this Perfect. is extremely hot. So yes. this is the duck fat. So this has been in the oven for about 10 minutes while your potatoes are getting to this stage. So really, really hot. Carefully pop them in. Yeah. 
Normally it spits. <laughs> it's <laughs> been sitting there. Back. But you can sort of see it. So straight out the oven, pop them in, so it really sort of spits and everything. You can put a little bit more salt on and then straight back into the oven. So really right, hot okay. oven. You can do it all in the same oven as your uh, chicken or you can start them a little bit higher. If you're just doing potatoes on their own, do it really high so you get them nice and crisp. Yum. Right, so that is the potatoes. Nice, and nice And then once technique. they're nice and golden, you know, you can turn them about halfway through cooking. Once they're nice and golden and crisp, they are absolutely fantastic. Okay, sweet. Or, right. Carrots. So, yeah, some crap carrots. So, you know, if you really wanted to be lazy because it was a Sunday, you know, you could chop your carrots up, you could put them underneath your chicken, and then you wouldn't have to do anything. But we're going to do a little bit different. So we're just going to cut some nice little batons of carrots. And well, we're well gonna... that's the thing with your rangatake butterfly chicken. You've got the time to actually put a bit of effort into what you're doing here. So. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so you, so you have got the time. So nice hot pan, and then we're just going to brown them off. Okay, I've never done this before, so that's quite exciting. Okay, so we're just going to season them lightly as yeah. we go. And, they, you know, they're not, they're not too big a chunk, so they won't take too long. So once you've got a nice colour on all sides, um, you know, they should be ready. You still want a little bit of texture in there as well. well. OK. You know, so it will, take, it will take a while to get some colour on. And then once we've got the carrots, you know, you get a nice flavour from that sort of roasted colour from the carrots. We've got some harissa um, powder here. So that's uh, it's all chilies, um, peppers, cumin, all those sort of... Uh, um, sort of uh, Moroccan-y flavours. So we're going to finish the carrots with this, so that's going to give us a nice deep flavour. OK, and you can find that at supermarkets and yeah, yeah, stores? Yeah. It, yeah, it's easy to find that. You right. can use a paste as well if you want. OK. But if you use a paste, they'd put, them in, uh, put it at the very sort of end. Make sure your carrots are cooked, they're roasted, and then tip them out into a bowl with some paste. You can mix some olives through there. So you can just see, see the carrots now. We're starting to get that beautiful roasted ah, colour on there. For. You know, so just look how like how you cut the carrot. Look how many corners it's got. Yeah, cool. And just get a nice colour on. I'll, all those I'll do corners. that. You do you, that. You finish off those. Yep. Yeah, just got some olives. I'm just going to cut them in. Yeah. You don't like olives? Oh, I hate olives. I'll put them all in then. <laughs> and then just got Come some on. thyme as well. So once you get a little bit of colour, we're just going to pop some thyme in there. And when you pop it in, you're just going to hear it spit. Yep. It's going to release all the flavours and flavour them up. Oh, that smells incredible. You know, a I do hate olives, Mark, but you make anything taste incredible, so right. I'll give them a go. You're going to have to eat one at the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice work. Well, I'll tell you what, you'll see the finished product here very soon. Oh, Everybody just like, with some food? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I start crying when Mark brings the food over. Look at this! <gasps> Amazing! Sunday roast. Looks beautiful. Smells incredible.